Ted Cruz's numbers have uh, gotten a little bump from him entering into the clown car race. But I want to take a moment to focus on a piece that was written a couple of weeks ago about Ben Carson. But it is really stunning. We have said many times on this program that Ben Carson has proved beyond a reasonable doubt that you can be a brilliant, accomplished brain surgeon and simultaneously be a utter functional moron in other areas of your life. Now, you, I mean, well, I guess in some instances, yes, you could argue that maybe functional is not even the, the case. But he has certainly changed the nature of the clay cliche, he's no brain surgeon. Because <laughs> after this profile in GQ, saying he's no brain surgeon or she's no brain surgeon could mean that person is reasonably informed about things like foreign policy. <laughs> So here's a, a couple of, uh, of anecdotes from Ben Carson's, I guess, tour to educate himself more about foreign policy. Now, understand that this piece was written a year after it became clear that he was at least going to look into running for, pres for presidency. And so he's going to take a trip to Israel to check out Israel because, of course, his leader, Benjamin Netanyahu, is a very important figure in the Republican Party. Ultimately, he's going to want his blessing. And so he needs to be able to talk about Israel. And he's... Um, he is on his own uh, so-called fact finding mission. He's got a young Israeli woman who is his guide. The woman answered Carson's questions about political parties. Now understand, I'm going to presume that Ben Carson has the internet. And if he wanted to do some of the more basic, you know, get just like lay of the land, like, hey, what continent is Israel on? Or... Which direction will we be flying from Newark or those type of things? Or just like, they seem to be a democracy. Carson's questions about the political parties, telling him that there were labor in Likud and a host of other factions in the Knesset. Now look, Israeli politics are complicated. I would be shocked if anybody who has not sort of been actively engaged in the politics of that country can name more than one or two parties, and there are literally dozens, small parties, because it's a, it's a parliamentary system. And their parliament, as I'm sure all of you know, is called the Knesset. Here's what Ben Carson didn't know. What is the role of the Knesset? As she explained to him, he seemed even more fatigued, according to the writer. Quote, it sounds complex. Why don't they just adopt the system we have? <laughs> Contemplate this for a moment. First off, it suggests that he may not be aware that the parliamentary system is widely adopted around the world, not just in Israel. Secondly, why don't they just adopt the system we have? So that, I guess, presumably, he won't have to go through this tutorial. <laughs> Carson had this conversation more than a year after after fundraising started 
to get him into the race. Uh, let's read uh, what else we have from the Ben Carson GQ profile. So Carson is um, in, I think it was uh, northern Israel. And he's being uh, given a tour by a lieutenant colonel in the um, Israeli army. The um, lieutenant colonel was talking about the Syrian civil war. And he said that most of the Islamist fighters weren't Syrian but came from Morocco and Europe. And Ben Carson's response to the ongoing Syrian war, civil war, has killed now at least 200,000 people. It's just like the troublemakers in Ferguson. <laughs> I have no idea how the lieutenant colonel reacted to that. Incidentally, why don't you guys scrap the Knesset? It's too complicated. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel tried to direct Carson's attention to a Syrian city in the distance where some of the uh, uh, fiercest fighting has taken place. Carson seemed just as interested in his own location and whether he was safely under the cov uh, cover of Israel's vaunted missile defense system. He asked at this point, is this area right here protected by the Iron Dome? Yes, but uh, it's in the distance, you see. <laughs> <laughs> That's so Israeli. They would be like, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're good. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Apparently, then he got scared, too, because he heard a car uh, construction noises and thought that was machine gun fire. But look, <laughs> I can understand that. I don't know about this guy in the situation room. Right. Yeah, that would be a little, that'd be a little troubling. Bob's going off outside the White House. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, 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 Mr. President, we told you they're just doing some repair on the, on the mall. It's okay. Don't worry. That 3 a.m. call, why can't you just call me at 8.30 in the morning? See, I learned at the doctor that you could call at 5 a.m. It's just <laughs> as effective as 3 a.m. <laughs> I need some more milk now. Wow. Did you know that in other countries they have different <laughs> systems of government that are very complicated? <laughs> That's my big takeaway as president. Also, jails make you gay. First, <laughs> first thing I would do as president would be an executive order changing the system of government in Israel. In Israel and I don't understand frankly, in why. Europe too. It's because they're like Puerto Rico and they're only a quasi-American state. Doesn't mean they should be able to have an entirely different system of government. <laughs> Completely unfair. What is the role of the Knesset? Don't you read up? I mean, Why don't they just adopt ours? Don't you, before you go to a place on vacation or to visit a friend, don't you go on Wikipedia to have a sense of like, what's you know the what? history like? But, but a what's year into capital? them raising money and you knowing that, look, I should just. And it's Israel, man. Somebody, exactly. Come on. This is like. I am going to be the, I may be named the head of a chocolate company. Maybe I should find out what's going on in Belgium. What is the role of cocoa in this process? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Why don't they just make it more like gum? <laughs> Why don't you just not import it from Ivory Coast if it's complicated? Well, that's where it comes from. Yeah, well, you should, shouldn't do chocolate anymore then. No, I mean yeah. that, but that's the thing. In that article, he comes off as both kind of arrogantly uninformed and so arrogant, like yeah. maybe more egotistical than his competitors, which is saying something. Because I would say this is an exceptionally ego egotistical field. But wow, I mean, his arrogance in that article is actually kind of breathtaking. I'm just I'm curious, like how much you have to not understand as to, like, why people don't just shift their system of government midstream. We got into this Knesset thing, and uh, 
15 years later, we found it very complicated. <laughs> so, And then the doctor from Baltimore came and he visited us and he explained, this is confusing, so what do we do? We change the system. <laughs> First of all, one of the benefits is we named our parties the Democratic and the Republican, and you wouldn't believe how much swag is already printed with those names. It's great deals. Yes, it's fantastic. And you know what we also did? We all changed our names to be like those of American politicians because then we could get all our uh, political signs at much more cheaper. Bob Smith, but can that, excuse me, the house. <laughs> No one wanted the Barack Obama name for obvious reasons, but all the rest of them were. <laughs> yes. <laughs> one smart ass used the uh, Kwame uh, Mfume. <laughs> <laughs> Very clever, wise guy. Okay, let's pass the new anti Palestinian law. <laughs> <laughs> We just don't agree with Palestinian marriage. <laughs> I don't want to make a Kanish for their wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Carson, you'll be happy to know that we have rejiggered all of our political <laughs> debates to completely emulate those you're having in the United States. I hope this makes it less confusing for you for your next visit. For future reference, you won't be troubled, Doctor. We have also decided to get rid of this tiresome Hebrew language. <laughs> because it suddenly occurred to us, what if we were Dr. Ben Carson? How would we get around? <laughs> What's all that jibber-jabber on the, on the street signs? I had a joke when I was doing stand-up. I, I don't know if I'm going to butcher it because I don't remember, but I would do like a fake politician thing, and I would say, like, look, I don't care if you're black, white, if you're from China or Lebanon. Deep down inside all of us, we are all Americans. 